My name is Hassan Mir. I'm an orthopedic trauma surgeon in Tampa, Florida. I'm also a professor of orthopedic surgery. I train residents, fellows, and medical students. I work at a level one trauma center. We are doing high volume of complex acute trauma. Uh, my patients don't plan to wreck their car or get hit while biking or whatever happens to them. So it's kind of taking people through a bad moment uh, getting them fixed, encouraging them through the process, and then seeing them come into your office six months later walking and back to life, it's, it's very rewarding. And the cases that we're most commonly using it for are uh, pelvic fractures, uh, acetabular fractures of the hip socket, and then also uh, fractures, what we call periarticular fractures, so fractures that go into the joint, so around the knee, around the ankle, uh, sometimes around the elbow or shoulder, so those are the cases where, where we're using, the, uh, using this technology. We also uh, are a center that uses a lot of post-operative CT scans in order to fully, truly grade the quality of the realignment and reconstruction of the, of the bones and joints that we fix. The OEC now allows us to do that uh, real time in the operating room. The image quality is top notch, it's great. You can see uh, everything on this that you can on a regular CT scan. Being able to save multiple positions uh, makes it easier for our techs and for the surgeons, uh, where once we've found ideal imaging for placing implants percutaneously, especially around the pelvis, it makes it helpful to have those positions stored. To be able to zoom in on the image uh, without magnifying also is a feature that, that we've used some, but probably should use more even to help lower our radiation exposure to patients. In addition, we can do the post-processing uh, reduction of metal artifacts. We can do it on the front end before we even run the scan, and therefore it's just a one-time process and easy for us to use. And again, this is all within a few minutes right there live in the operating room so we can make changes if we need to. We've had very complex injuries in the past where we would even sometimes stage the procedure, where we would do part of the procedure, close the wound, send the patient for a post-operative CT scan to kind of reassess where we were at and then bring the patient back another day to do the rest of the procedure. Versus now, we can do that right there in the operating room with the patient still under one anesthetic. As we've gotten more experience with the machine, we do have cases now where we've done a couple scans intra-op to help us through the procedure, not just at the end of the case. We've had no patients who've had to come back to the operating room in the last few years because we're able to assess it real time in the operating room with the 3D CT imaging. And it just makes it, makes it easier for us, better for patients not having to have a return trip to the operating room. So it's definitely made things uh, more streamlined for patient care, reducing length of stay, reducing re-operation. I would at least encourage them to try this because we've tried them all and, and we've found this to be the most facile in our hands. Most of our techs can utilize this pretty efficiently, so it's not a huge time add for our cases. In fact, it's pretty similar uh, whether we use this or other machines. This allows us to be much more confident in, in what we've done in the operating room uh, for ourselves, for our patients, and when we talk to their families.